my goings It's not safe For you cross me, look both ways Leaving the scene With no trace None in my lead You out of place I'm not at the top I'm out of space Can't eat with us We're out of place I'm doing fine I'm feeling great You're not my fan You can't relate Straight talk going state to state Here and today I am back with another five questions and today I am here with one of my favorite wrestlers, Cody Diener. Welcome to Five Questions. Thank you for having me. We started this off right. You just said I'm one of your favorite wrestlers. So that's, yeah. we're off to a very good start so far. <laughs> All right, so the first question. Wait a second, wait, wait, wait. How many questions is it going to be? Five. Five questions. And what's the name of the show? Five Questions of the Mini Host. That is brilliant. That's a very, very smart and intelligent title. We're obviously off to another good start. You said that I'm one of your favorite wrestlers and you're a very smart title for the show. So this is going to be good. Okay, I'm ready for question number one. Okay. Let's do this. Number one. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do with your kids? Oh my gosh. You hit me with that right off the bat. <laughs> oh man. I would have to say, actually, my favorite thing to do with my kids right now is wrestle with them. My oh, okay. son, my son, about a year ago, turned into a hardcore wrestling fan. So he's seven years old and... I got out some of my old action figures and, and a ring, and I started telling them the kind of the story of each wrestler and their backstories, and he just like something clicked, and he just fell in love with it. So now oh I get to God. I get to relive all of my favorite childhood moments with my son. Oh, now. That's so that's that's probably my favorite thing to do with my kids right now. For yes. Sure. Number two, I love how you donate to charity, but mm -hmm. what made you think of the Giver to Charity idea? Actually, it was fans just like yourself. Oh, okay. I met some really awesome, cool people at shows like you. And um, as I was traveling, I was meeting these people and I was learning some of their stories. And I've met some really awesome um, fans that have had a really hard time in their life. They've overcome a lot of different obstacles, um, a variety of, uh, of things, whether it's a Special Olympian that I've made, been friends with, or one of my buddies named Christopher who grew up deaf, or um, another friend of mine named Regan who um, she's autistic. So I've met some people that have had some challenges and they say that I inspire them, but really they inspire me. So I started to um, get this idea that maybe I can partner with these people that I've met and we can raise some money together. So I actually partnered with young fans that I like and we pick a charity together and we raise some money together. So it was just after meeting some really awesome people through, through traveling the world and being a wrestler, um, I'm very blessed. So I decided I wanted to try to give back to, to my fans and to the community around me. So. We tried it, and um, since we started doing it together, uh, me and a bunch of different kid wrestling fans have raised almost eighteen thousand dollars for different charities all across Canada. Wow, that's yeah. amazing! Yes. <laughs> Number three, what do you love about wrestling? Oh my, it's really hard to describe. Let me flip the script right now and ask you, what do you love about wrestling? Um, I love how. You know, the rest of us take their time to travel around the world okay. and just make the fans happy. Okay, so that's a very interesting question. That's something that I never thought of when I was your age. I never thought about them traveling around and trying to make people happy. I just thought about what I was watching on screen was the most mesmerizing thing in the world. Yeah. But, like you just said, whatever it was that I was watching on the screen, it made me happier than anything else in my life. I don't know what it was. It's hard to describe, right? Yeah. Like what makes us watch what's happening and love it so much and give us this feeling of like excitement and inspiration and motivation and like all of these different characters doing these amazing, you know, superhero-like things. As a young person, it's you can't even describe what makes you fall in love with it. I can't even tell you, other than to sh say the same thing as you. It just made me happy. Whenever right. I watched yeah. wrestling, I was happy. And now, when I'm in the ring wrestling, there's really, other than being with my kids and playing with my kids, <laughs> there's no other thing in my life that makes me as happy um, than, than being in the ring and wrestling. So, so true. It's just, it's just the best thing in the world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, what's it like working with a great mind, Eric Young? Oh man, with a great mind? Yes. The great mind of Eric Young. Yes, okay, the, okay yes, <laughs> the great mind of Eric Young, yes. So, you were right. He has a great mind, he's very intelligent, so I get to kind of bounce some ideas off of him, but it's not actually just the fact that he has a brilliant mind for wrestling, he's very smart when it comes to wrestling, he's one of the best wrestlers in the world. The thing that is the coolest to me is that he was there on my first day of wrestling school, oh my God, and really? he helped train me from the beginning. Wow. And he's been one of my best friends in wrestling for over 20 years. So wow. to get to actually be in the ring and perform alongside one of my best friends, 
that is pretty cool. And that right? is pretty that's cool. That's pretty cool. So to get to <laughs> say that you do what you love with your friends, I mean, you can't beat that. So yeah, that's my on. favorite part, is the guy that's been with me from the beginning um, is there with me now and, in, and enjoying probably the most fun I've ever had in wrestling business ever yes. right now. So I get to do with my friend. The fifth and final question. Yes. What inspired you to start wrestling? Well, huh, I, my first memories of wrestling actually scrap that my first memories period of my life are wrestling okay. like i don't even remember life without wrestling i it was it was so important to me to get to watch these wrestlers like hulk hogan and jake the snake and ricky the dragon steamboat and these heroes of mine they were so larger than life to me i like i said earlier i don't know what it was that drew, drew yeah. me to it it was just the energy and the excitement i just knew at the age of five, the first time I saw it, I just knew I have to do this when I grow up. That's my dream to one day be a professional wrestler. Yes. And now, fast forward over 20 years later, I can say I've actually been in the ring with Jake the Snake Roberts, with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I've wrestled with these guys who've oh been God. in the ring and experienced what I love as a wrestler with some of my childhood heroes. It's been such a wild ride. and. I like to try to pass that inspiration on to young people like yourself and the wrestling fans everywhere and uh, let them know that you should dream big. Because when I was five years old, I had a big dream to be a wrestler and I did it and I'm doing it and I love it. And I get to meet awesome cool people like, like you that have really you. cool names for their shows. <laughs> so it's, it's been one wild ride. Yes. Well, thank you again for coming on to Five Questions. You're welcome. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash those button and subscribe and turn the notifications so you get notified each time we post a video. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode on all available podcast platforms and hosted on Podbean. Also, check us out on YouTube at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Instagram at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Facebook at Straight Talk Wrestling, and on Twitter at underscore Straight Talk. And if you feel the need to buy some sweet merch, check us out on ProWrestlingTees.com. Leaving the scene with no trace, none in my lead. You out of place, I'm not at the top, I'm outer space. Can't eat with us, we're out of place. I'm doing fine, I'm feeling great. You're not my fan, you can't relate. Straight Talk going state to state